So we recently hit 50,000 subscribers, which means that this is now a big boy Chanel. Just three months ago, I only had 800 subscribers, so it's crazy to think how we're at 50,000 now, and I want to thank all of you for the love and support. Right now, I'm on campus at the University of Waterloo outside M3, which is the mathematics building right here and I asked you guys for questions on my Instagram story and a YouTube community post, so I'll be answering them right now. All right, first question. What did your parents think when you first started your channel? At first, they didn't really care, and now they still don't really care. How has fame changed your life? Well, I don't think I'm famous or anything, but I guess since my channel has sort of taken off, um, I guess the biggest change is that I get a lot more comments now, and I make ad revenue from YouTube, but other than that, life has pretty much stayed the same. It's not like I've been recognized in public or anything, except once. Anything you changed from your past, maybe things you wish you did. So back in high school, I was super focused on trying to get into university, specifically this school right here. And I spent a lot of time just studying at home alone. And I kind of wish that I just spent more time having fun, hanging out with friends and not worrying so much about school. Why do you make videos on YouTube? Well, I started making videos last year, and if you look, most of them are about Waterloo. I was trying to document my university experience to look back on in a few years, and then I got inspired to make some skits after watching channels like Joma Tech. And so I made my first skit, Computer Science Majors Be Like, and then started making some coding interview videos, and people seem to like those, and they're also really fun to make so I just kept making more. So to answer why I actually make these videos, it's mostly because I have these ideas and I want to see them in a video format. So I guess it's sort of like a creative outlet for my ideas. How many languages do you speak? I speak English, un peu de français parce que je suis canadien, and very little Mandarin. Can you hear the geese? When did you start coding? I started coding in 2018 when I was in grade 10. Um, it was just an intro to CS course at my school. What are your aspirations? What is your dream job slash company or do you want to start your own? Well, I'm pretty early in my career, so I'm not really sure what type of job I'm looking for yet. But throughout my co-ops, hopefully I'll find out what type of company and what type of role I like. In terms of starting my own company, it's definitely something that I'm interested in, but I just don't have any ideas yet. What sparked your interest into coding or was it forced? It was not forced. I voluntarily learned coding because I went to a hackathon voluntarily. Out of curiosity, actually, I just went for the food. And after that hackathon, I was like, wow, this whole coding and tech thing is really cool. So I took a CS class at school. Favorite yum cha dish? So yum cha is like dim sum. It's a type of Chinese food. And my favorite dish would probably be the salted egg yolk bun. What you doing, buddy? You YouTube? Vlogging. Yeah. Vlogging? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah. You already know what it is, bro. UW football. Whatever you want me to do, I got you. Peace. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. Enjoy your day, brother. You too. Nicholas T. What tips would you suggest to a new programmer? I would say it's best to learn by doing. So instead of just blindly following a bunch of tutorials, try to build things on your own and I think that will be the best way to learn. What's the meaning of life? I guess it depends for everyone, but for me, I want to make a difference in people's lives, whether it be just making videos that people will find entertaining or making software that will help people or be enjoyable to use. Your dream company which you want to join. Well, I don't really have a dream company, but for my next co-op term, I really want to work at Wealthsimple because they seem to have a nice culture and I also like to use the Wealthsimple trade app. Not sponsored. What's one advice you would give to yourself one year ago, co-op study habits? And I guess this question is related to what are some things you regret doing as a first year student in uni and what would you have done differently? So I guess there are three things here. So first, I would have tried harder to make new friends because classes were online and it was really hard to talk to new people, make new friends. And I didn't really meet too many people, so I would have put more effort into that. I also would have tried to have a better sleep schedule because for all the first year, I was sleeping at 4 or 5 a.m., waking up in the afternoon, and that was super unhealthy. Finally, I wouldn't have spent so much time worrying about how I was going to land my first co-op because I ended up falling behind in classes and it really didn't have much benefit. Do you play an instrument? I used to play the clarinet. How is life going for you? Pretty good. Can you shout out the mod team in the Q&A? Shout out to the mod team of the Nicholas T server. Thank you for all your hard work. Do you have any hobbies other than YouTube? Yeah, I like to go biking, play badminton, bake, 
and also just go on long walks while listening to music. Speaking of music, what sort of music do you listen to? And if no one else has asked it now, what's your favorite programming language and why is it Java? <laughs> Mostly rap. I listen to a lot of Ian Dior, 24K Golden, Post Malone, Drake, and Eric Rippard. Favorite language and or framework? My favorite language recently has been TypeScript. Favorite sandwich? It's gotta be a Montreal smoked meat sandwich. Really good. How many girls are in your classes? Well, I'm not really sure because all my classes have been online so far. But in high school, I think my grade 12 CS class was like 20% girls. How do you study and manage your time for university? I use Google Calendar and Notion. So for Google Calendar, I keep track of all my deadlines there and also plan out my entire day. So I will block out time for like studying, doing assignments, sleeping, eating, working out, things like that. And then I use Notion to keep track of my tasks for every week. How are you managing your YouTube channel and classes? Where do you get the motivation to do all these? Well, I mostly make videos either at the beginning of a term, in the middle of the term during reading week, or after finals. That way I don't have too much schoolwork when I'm making these videos. Or on a co-op term, like for the past four months, I've been doing a co-op, so I've had a lot more time to make videos. And in terms of motivation, I really only make videos whenever I come up with an idea. So I'm not like forcing myself to post every week or have a posting schedule or anything. And that sort of helps with uh, my motivation. Are you staying on campus this term or are you still doing remote? Well, right now I'm on campus. Would you say that working for a startup has changed your mind on fan companies? Yes, it has actually. So when I was at FAIR this summer, I got to work on many features and create lots of impact, which was really fun and rewarding. And I don't think you'd get that much level of ownership at a fan company. So I guess it has changed my mind because it's sort of shown me that fan companies might not be what I'm looking for, but I've never worked at one, so I can't really compare them. How do you see yourself in a year? Any career or relocation plan after school? In a year from now, I'll be on my third co-op term. Hopefully it'll be in person. I'm not really sure where I wanna work yet, but maybe some like mid-sized unicorn. And to the second question, after I graduate, I'll probably relocate to somewhere in the States. Are you Nikola Tesla? Cause your name is matching with him. Yes. What section of programming field that you mostly like or focused on? For now, I'm pretty interested in web development. On a scale of one to 10, how much do you love big time rush songs? Solid eight. Who are you? Well, I am me and you are you. Did you come into university with knowledge already under your belt or did you start from scratch in terms of your major? So I took two CS classes in high school and also learned some web development on my own. So I did have some experience coming in. Are you and Frying Pan going to collab? We should. Do you have any tips on doing well in classes, in particular STEM classes? I guess my advice would be to practice active recall and do a lot of practice problems and try to look for patterns when you're doing them. What's your approach to learn new tech related stuff? Well, usually when I'm learning a new language or framework, I'll look up a tutorial to gain some context and help me get started. And then after that, I'll just try to build something on my own and use documentation, Stack Overflow, just Googling a bunch of stuff to help me out. And I think that's probably the best way that I learn is just to learn by doing and building something. Prior to college, what resources did you use to learn programming or coding? So I watched a lot of tutorials from Traversy Media and Web Dev Simplified to learn some web development stuff. And then I also used W3 Schools. How to start preparing for a first co-op job in the upcoming fall term if I have little previous experience. First of all, if you don't have that much experience, that is completely fine. It's your first co-op. Most people don't have that much experience. And my advice would be to build some projects, which you can put on your resume and also improve your programming skills while you're building them. Try not to build anything too generic or straight up copy a tutorial, but try to build something that's your own idea and I think that'll help you stand out. How much Lee code questions did you do to get your software engineering job? Love your videos, man, keep it up. I answered this in one of my other videos, but I did about 10 Lee code problems and most of them were easies. How good were you at coding at different ages from when you started to where you are at now and what could you do? Well, I was pretty bad at coding a couple years ago and now I'm still pretty bad at coding. So in 2018, I started coding and I only knew basic Java after my first CS course at school. In 2019, I took my second CS class at school, so I got better at Java and learned some more algorithms and data structures. 2019 was also when I started getting into web development, so just basic HTML, CSS, and JS. In 2020, I got a bit better at web development. I started doing some backend stuff with Express, and I also took my first CS class here at Waterloo, where we did functional programming in Racket. And then now in 2021, I learned C in my second programming class at the beginning of the year. And then during my co-op, I got much better at doing front end stuff with React and TypeScript. So overall from 2018 to now, I went from being a complete beginner to slightly less beginner.
anyways that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching and i probably won't be posting as much for the next few months because i'm going to be starting second year here at waterloo and my courses are pretty difficult this term and i'm also going to be looking for my second co-op so things are going to get pretty busy but i'm going to try to make some videos during reading week which is like mid-october and yeah i'll see you then bye